Previously on Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Miles, become a defense attorney like your daddy, or I won't love you anymore. Father, you never loved me! <laughs> and now back to wagging my little finger. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Ace Attorney Investigations 2. When we last left off, we flashed back to when Edgeworth's dear old daddy was still alive and he fought alongside Detective Bad, saving the world with his Superman powers. And we also got to see little baby Ray and we got to see him sing a song about cakes and butter and girly claps. It was just fucking beautiful. Uh, so you guys sort of said that, uh, really, the woman that I was trying to give a French accent to probably isn't French. She's just trying to sound more sophisticated with the... Uh, by saying monsieur, which by the way is also, it's pronounced monsieur, not monsieur, like I was saying. <laughs> wow, god damn it. You ever have that, uh, a moment where you're like, like, oh shit, that thing I've been saying this one way for so fucking long is totally wrong. I have that happen to be a lot. <laughs> As I'm sure you guys can imagine. So yeah, I haven't totally been saying that wrong my whole life, no. I think the reason why I struggle so much with the French accent is because I never actually took any French classes. I took Spanish classes. So a lot of the the pronunciations for certain letters and phrases and things, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know if the N in French is silent. I think it's, I don't think it is. I think it might just be silent in that instance. And now that I guess the French language, because honestly, English language has a, an equal amount of fucking silent letter bullshit, that just begs the question then, why the fuck do we have silent letters to begin with? Was somebody else just like, I'm gonna sneak that shit in there, see if anybody notices. I'm just gonna fuck up everybody's language classes. Cause that's what it does, it does, it just fucks with everybody. And until you memorize it and realize that, oh, I'm not gonna be pronouncing that, that silent letter. Until then though, fuck you. You're gonna sound like a fucking idiot in front of people. So anyway, I'll give her, uh, like I said, maybe give her kind of a posh voice. I gave Justine my British accent, so I'll give her something else, I guess. But also I, I sort of figured out, I think she actually might be the killer because it didn't really hit me, but the, uh, we found that little ring or whatever it was with the, the emblem on it. And she was talking about how she's a big fan of the, artist or whatever that that that's his like signature so i'm gonna bet it's gonna end up being her you know she want to take out her partner be the star of the show but i don't think we're gonna get to that this episode looks like we're gonna go meet with von karma man karma and uh some other character we haven't met so anyway here turn about beginning part two let's get started oh oh my god it's disney world holy shit is that, is that actually gonna be food too? Is the door edible as well and the door handle? Who is gonna eat this anyway? December 24th, 7.30 p.m. Contest venue, Delicia's room. What in the fuck is up with all these fucking fruitcakes? I mean, literal fruitcakes. Who eats fruitcakes? Wow, a candy castle. And there's, there's even some fairies over there. Oh uh, yeah. Oh my God, they're alive! Looks like Disney's invaded our game too. <laughs> Goddamn Kingdom Hearts, LPs crossing over. This room seems to be structured in the same way as Matt and Master's room, but it's nowhere near as cold. This room all seems to have been fitted with a, a temperature control panel. <laughs> Look at that little forensics guy cr cr crouched over there. I'm gonna go over there and slap him right in the booty. Ah, it's over by that orange lamp, right? Indeed. Let's not forget to investigate later. You guys said the ace voice was perfect for Gregory, so hot diggity doodah day. <laughs> for every voice that Nico gets right, he gets two voices wrong. <laughs> Even so, this room is like something out of a fairy tale. It's this cream-covered covered castle to Lysia's work. Where is Lysia? Uh, Lee, can I help you? Oh, what in the hell? Well, hello there, little character that looks like Terror Terror. <laughs> looks like a female Terror Terror. Even, like, designed differently from all the other characters in this game. <laughs> Did you also come out of Kingdom Hearts? What do they call that? Phonetically, is that right? When it when it's written in, like, the way that it's pronounced a lot of times. Like, Clavier made it a lot easier for me to sort of get that a better German accent. Because everything he sort of said was, you don't know, Applehead, you know? Very Germany sounding. It helps me a little bit when I see, like, a French thing like that. But what would this be then? Hello, boys. I'm Delicious Scones. In my name. Oh, oh, God damn it! You had to be for fucking. 
fucking England. My native England, well, then what am I gonna do with you? Can I give you a different voice over from Justine? In my native England, I'm known as Mr. Delicious. Yeah, that kind of works, I think. Being called a boy, even though I'm thir I'm 34, it's cer <coughs> certainly a rare experience. Oh, by the way, you guys also pointed out that the hat that Kruger is wearing is actually the hat that Ray's wearing in the future. So he didn't get his didn't get his coat, but he did get his hat. <laughs> but, 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 but boys, I understand you calling me that, but, but Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> but why is that causing me to shiver? <laughs> also, this is supposed to be the like the evil chef. As far as I'm concerned, you're all boys to me, even that detective over there. My name is Bad, not Boy. <laughs> I'm not your boy. Just how old is this woman? <laughs> Mr. Darnick, let's just finish our business here. All right, just gonna adjust my tie real quick. Hmm, right. Objection. objection! Oh, I know who that fucking belongs to. <laughs> that terrifyingly deep objection. You, what do you think you're doing? Conversing with the Mia attorney. Oh, goody, I have not with this out in what feels like fucking ages. You know, I'm not really sure. I, I feel like the, my clavier might be a, more, a slightly more accurate German accent than his. There's, there is a difference between, I feel like, the Clavier and the Von Karma voice. I don't know what it is, though. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, a scary man came out of this candy castle. <laughs> was I in there? They have a candy bathroom in there. I was using it. Von Karma. Uh, uh, this man. It's Prosecutor Von Karma. Give him my money. So he's Von Karma. Oh, he hasn't met him before. Pleased to meet you, Prosecutor Von Karma. My name is Gregory Edgeworth, defense attorney. Oh. You thought I'd never come back, did you? Bah, I have no interest in the name of defense attorneys. Mmm, I snap at you! After all, they only exist to be crushed by me. What a rude man. That piercing gaze and furrowed brow. Oh god, it's burning my insides. Even scarier than the rumors say. But what I really want to know is how old he is. Actually, uh, oh, there you are. 49? Are you shitting me? Fuck, dude, you look like you're, you look like you're at least 70. How old is she supposed to be? Oh, they don't know. Huh? Okay, you cannot be, you could not possibly be more than 40 years old. 36. Oh, that statement was also very rude. Ruskin von Karma, would you allow us to investigate too? Are you, are you shitting me? Like really, you think I'm gonna do that? You've heard all about me, right? I'm a giant fucking asshole. You think I would give information to a mere defense attorney? As I thought, it won't be that simple. However, oh, I'll make a special exception for this rule. But, but why did you just smile so quickly? You, old bloodhound! <laughs> Don't call me that. My name is... Bad. Detective Bad. Oh, by the way, you also, guys also pointed out, so it, it is, it was what I was thinking. The, this is before he got shot at, so he doesn't need to use that mirror. So he's not, he's probably not gonna whip it out. And also, there aren't any bullet holes on his jacket, speaking of getting shot at, so. Ha, a mere detective speaking back to me. I admire your courage, at least. Bad, stand, stand and watch and see to it that they don't misbehave. Why, me? I will not accept your refusal. Well, then. I'll be investigating Gustavia's room next. That guy was pure fucking Satan. Satan and a fucking Kravit. I'm babysitting again. And why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together? Instead of being on bad terms, it seems like they, are, they hardly know each other. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Edward, now, now we've got Von Karma's permission, we can continue investigating. Yes, this matter bothers me, but I'm glad we can at least continue the investigation. Otherwise, this would have been a very short flashback. Uh, hold it. I also need to investigate the room. I don't want you disturb disturbing the room. So you'll you'll investigate after me. What? 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 Aren't you the detective in charge of this case? Why haven't you investigated this room yet? The detective in charge of this initial investigation was a close colleague of Von Karma. Mm Why do you keep dramatically like pulling it out like that? Like we don't know what it is by this point. I came to take over for him, so I only got to this mansion just recently. So that's why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Detective Bad, will you allow us to investigate with you like before? In doing so, you'll be able to supervise us and also ensure we don't tamper with any- Oh, shit, why did I read that? I mean, I did that! You want me to watch you? You're a strange lawyer. Huh, at least stick around. 
a little longer. Yay! You, you did it, Mr. Edgeworth. Good. I'd much rather you be my my but my partner, Button. Thank you, Detective Bad. What if I decide you're holding up the investigation? You'll have to leave. Yes, I understand. Well then, let's begin the investigation. Begin the investigation. Let's do it. But first, ah! Chase, chase me, Bad. Chase me. What the hell? What are you doing? Get back here. You freaking son of a sucker, get back here. God dang, why are you so freaking fast? Ugh, ugh, I knew I shouldn't have smoked all those lollipops. Ugh, ha you can't catch me, bad. Like father, like son, as they say, ha ha. God dang it, <laughs> I'm not gonna lose to you. <laughs> uh, I find that way funnier than it needs to be. The sickly smell of cream. Yes, this truly is a fairy tale world. And yet, here in this sugary sweet room, there was one with such a sour face. He doesn't belong in this room. That scary old man. <laughs> yes. You see, he would be the evil villain in any Disney movie. Raymond, mind what you say, you're being a bit rude. S sorry, it, it won't happen again. Even if it is pretty much dead on. You reminded me of my old school teacher who used to get mad at me a lot. A school teacher, I definitely don't want to think of my son being taught by such a man. <laughs> oh shit, I hope that never happens. Oh, by the way, I think you guys said I should try presenting my what? Attorney's badge. Working with defense attorneys isn't worth it. They go through the, the crime scene as they please and interpret their findings to their favor. You also feel that way about me. Hmm. Didn't confirm or deny it. <laughs> was, was he com commenting on this? Proof of my possession, pulsing it every day has become my routine. I have my own cronut badge. And it is delicious. What are you doing, weird little crouch man? Don't turn around, don't turn around, please. I know he's right behind me, and I know he's gonna kick me in the butt if I, but I don't care, I don't wanna look. If you do, you're only gonna eat, the, eat that castle. His forensics officer seems to be on a diet. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was afraid of Von Karma. I was like, is he still in the room? There's a cover on the wall, just like the, in Mr. Master's room. Let's open it up. Hmm. The room temperature is, is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lights are set to green. Gustavia said, at 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature for fresh cream. This room's temperature is too high. Hmm. It's getting hot in here, so put my cravat on. This is intriguing. There's a burner and some chemical chemicals over here. They were probably used to make desserts. What are, they, what are these chemicals? The writing on the labels say, no, number one punch out and number nine suffering. <laughs> are they poisons? <laughs> no, they both used to make desserts. So these to be artificial flavoring and coloring, but it'll also kill you. Punch out is a catchy name for a fruit punch essence. Very misleading. What bothers me is that is what suffering stands for. Suffering succotash. Hello, strange little lady. <laughs> uh, Miss Delicious, you don't seem as energetic as you were earlier. Delicia, can I just ask? Can I just ask? Did something happen with Von Karma? Oh yes, nothing of the sort. But you just said yesy. Oh, that yesy just now was only a greeting. Actually, I just give her like the monomy voice. That 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 would just fine. You're a cute boy. I like you. What's your what's your first name? Uh, it's Raymond. But <laughs> well, Ray Ray, I think you'll make a good man of yourself someday. Uh, Ray Ray. <laughs> well, how about that? You th I think you have a way with the British ladies. She's a little different from my image of a lady. <laughs> Why don't we listen to what she has to say? <laughs> Seriously, I. I I, you feel like you're from a different game. Could you tell me more about your actions during the contest? Yes, yeah, see, we began making desserts for the contest around 10 o'clock. Basically, I was in here making my dessert the whole time. At half past one, I joined the afternoon tea for about an hour or so. Uh, afternoon tea? It's a social occasion where conversation is had over black tea and cakes. Um, so it's pretty much a tea party. <laughs> well, I suppose. Reggie, you're a smart boy, aren't you? <laughs> she got like an evil side to her or something? 
or is that guy just kind of overreacting? When did I become Greggy? Where was the afternoon tea held? It took place in the gardens outside of the Fountain Mario. It's our customary break time during the garden dust. It's always held at the same time. Today, there were just three of us who took part. Jeffy, Katie, and me. Since Jeffy had already finished his creation, he was there from the beginning to end. Icy and Gusty didn't didn't join in because they had, hadn't finished the desserts yet. So everyone other than Mr. Dover and Mr. Gustavi had participated. Yes, actually I hadn't finished my dessert yet either. I just wanted to try some of Jeffy's handmade pastries and Katie's fresh fruit tea. So, after I'd eaten my food, I returned before everyone else. During the contest, did you enter any of any of the other contestants' rooms? Eh, what are you saying? We found your fingerprints on the desserts of the crime scene. And you found them? Are you admitting that you went to the scene of the murder? Maybe she just, in an in attempt to win, she just tampered with some of the, the desserts or something. Uh, I admit it, but, uh, but I'm not the murderer. Is the honest truth? Please hear me out. Tell me! What were you doing in Mr. Master's room? The truth is, I was studying his desserts. Studying? Because Jeffy's so talented at making sweets. Well, nobody was in his room at the time, so I just decided to study his works for a bit. Mm. Oh, she's the one who sabotaged it. Oh, that's what caused the ship to fall down and stuff. But that doesn't necessarily mean it was the killer then, right? But if you were just looking, you wouldn't have left your fingerprints behind. Yes, it's natural that I left fingerprints on the desserts. For the sake of research, I ate some of his desserts. Eh? Isn't that like stealing food? It couldn't, it couldn't be. The one who wrecked, wrecked Mr. Master's room was. <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't my intention for you to vandalize the room, but I did eat a few parts of the desserts in his room. I just created little bits and pieces of, of Jeffy so Jeffy wouldn't find out. So, did you did you eat the ship stand as well? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Just, okay. Yeah. The chocolate ship broke because of you. But at least we found a dead body because of that. Eep! I'm so, I'm sorry. So the reason she left the afternoon tea early was to pres preserve her appetite. But, but, but you've got to believe me on this. I'm not the murderer. Her actions are sufficiently suspicious, but I won't press on it yet. Hmm, okay. What in the hell is up with this thing? I can't believe this amazing castle is made entirely out of conf confectionery. I know, what a work of fantasy. It's like a fairy tale world. You like all this fairy tale stuff, don't you? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got a bit too excited, didn't I? No, what's interesting to me since you're so enthusiastic about it, I'm like my son. That little weenie isn't only enthusiastic about fucking Kravitz. Uh, your son. He's only in grade school, yet he prefers to read law books instead of fairy tales. I'm worried that he won't be able to make any friends that he can that he can talk to. God damn it, he's right. Only if he ended up becoming fr friends with Phoenix and fucking Larry. Huh, what an interesting, what an interesting kid. I'd like to be his friend. Ha, huh, I think you'd be more of an older brother to him. You really have to eat that? Hey, an older brother, huh? I'm absorbing that knowledge. Okay, if you don't stop beating the paper, there's no way you're meeting my family. <laughs> well, I've got some growing up to do then. Yes, that's why we have to continue with the investigation. I won't rest until I've expected every suspicious looking nook and castle. Castle doors are open. When someone opens a the door, they really should remember to close it afterwards. Are you saying that directly to Prosecutor Von Karma, though? <laughs> Uh, looks like there's some stuff inside. Hmm. Let's see. Wait, I'll examine it. Stay out of the way. Stay out of my fucking way. Tch. This fresh cream melts too easily. All right, there we go. Seems like Detective Bad's shoes got co covered in cream. God dang it. Why were these objects kept inside the candy castle? If there's anything you want to investigate, you better speak up now. Okay, high temperature, fragile desserts. Go for it! Connect trouble! God dang it! I'm gonna figure out what that 
poor game is one day. The reason the fresh cream is so fragile is due to the temperature in this room. So my shoes got cream because the room temperature is set to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Speaking of which, when you open the castle door, the doorknob didn't doorknob didn't break. Yeah, it was stronger than I thought. Strong, a dessert. Dang it, bad. Could you have a closer look at that doorknob? This is. It would seem this doorknob isn't a dessert. And it's not just the doorknob. It's castle and the fairies. Are just plastic molds coated in fresh cream. Uh, eh, then this isn't a dessert piece at all. It would seem they're just fake, fake desserts covered in fresh cream. Ooh. What are true, true intentions? She is a demon lord. I see fake desserts. Des dessert studies. Go for it. Connect. Sorry. Damn it. Okay, maybe not. I figured that would be like. It would show that she's not really going there to study anything. She's going there to sabotage. I won't rest until I've expected every suspicious looking nook and, uh, what is this? Hmm. This pillar has a hexagonal recess. Looks like a pedestal, but it has nothing in it. A hexagonal recess, huh? But what would have been in there, been put in there? A giant strawberry. We're filled with the fresh cream. <laughs> Take it bad. I don't think strawberries are hexagonal. I was just. <laughs> what? I, w I was just hoping. <laughs> then I hope it's a banana. <laughs> I think I prefer blueberries. I love strawberries, goddammit. Don't you judge me. Don't you fucking judge me! Two big rocks are placed here. It's like a storage room. Yeah, the inside of the candy castle isn't so dreamy. Hey, maybe they're, they're raw gemstones. Who knew that there were su such treasures hidden within the castle? Seems like a rather careless way to handle treasure. Hmm? Looks like there's, some there's something underneath the rocks. Oh! There seems to be a pedestal attached to both of the rocks. There's our fucking hexagon. Of course, it's, it's a pedestal for displaying the gems. Well, in any case, this is no ordinary object. Alright. That was just me dicking around. Here it is for real. Go for it. Connect operation. Yeah. That was the right one. The rock's pedestal is a similar shape to the recesses on the castle's pillars. Perhaps the rock is meant to be placed on top of the pillars. Oh, that's right. They're both hexagonal. Wonder why they were hidden inside the castle, though. Maybe they were too heavy, wouldn't fit on the... Well, it's a, it's a plastic molding, though, so... There are rolls of blue cloth here. Looks like there's there's four of them in all. But it certainly don't look like desserts. Yeah, I don't know what the, what the cloth's for. It almost seems like it was hidden here inside the castle. Also, the color of this cloth looks familiar somehow. Blue cloth in the rocks inside the castle. I wonder if they belong to Delicia. Delicia, those things in the castle, what are they used for? Those? I'm afraid I can't tell you. Looks like Von Karma is keeping her silent. I haven't found out. Who can mad at me if I talk? Prosecutor Von Karma doesn't intend on being up front with his information. Ah, oh, such a shame. We finally figured out where the rocks are supposed to go. Could it be that you're interested in my goods? Eh, your goods? <laughs> Those are my popular relaxation goods. You mean the rock, the rock and the cloth? Yes, see, that's right. You see, they're not actually rocks, but special lamps made from rock salt. Well, so the, the, those are lamps. <laughs> ah, it gets even more exciting because this cloth also has an amazing secret. As soon as we showed her interest in her goods, she became quite talkative. Since we got them out, come experience the therapy, boys. Patty, could you put everything up? <laughs> it's, it's not Patty. Bad or badass if you just want to say my full name. So you won't do it? Is Patty being a bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I am a fucking 42 year old man. Labby, are you done photographing this roof? Yes, sir, I am. Oh, you're giving me a pet name. No, it's because you're a fucking lab assistant. Get over here. 
go help Felicia, you fuck. <laughs> yes, sir, I'm on it. Uh, oh, thanks, I knew you were a good boy underneath, Patty. <laughs> Miss Delicious, th that was amazing. You even persuaded Detective Bad. <laughs> I get so enthusiastic about everything. Thanks a lot, Patty, and you two for forensies. <laughs> she even gave a nickname, gave the forensics a nickname. Uh, yeah, those guys are fucking useless. <laughs> I think that's her way of showing showing she cares. All NPCs are important to, to Delicia. What's so therapeutic about these things anyway? We don't have time for that now, Patty. The show's about to begin. Forensies, finishing touches, please. Yes, ma'am. She acknowledged my existence. Oh, God. It's... Wow, it's so beautiful. It really is. I wish my son could see this. <laughs> I, wish, I wish Lil Edgeworth were here. Wow! I'm at home being a douchebag! Wow! Oh yeah, I told you so, right? The four fairies in the Curious Cat in the Castle was the theme of my work. It's so sparkly and cute, right? It seems like one of, one of them is missing something. Huh? Truth is, I planned on villain during the contest. Well, I'm glad I got to show it to you boys. Huh? But it doesn't look like the rock salt lamps are lighting up. Uh, uh, I wonder why? I think I'll need to examine the rocks and the fairies again. This thing's missing? Unlike the other fairies, this one doesn't have a, have a fluorescent cloth. Oh, Miss Alicia, it's not right to leave one out. I don't like it either, but one fluorescent cloth in a machine has gone missing. You've lost a cloth, a machine. What sort of machine is it? Well, let me, let me tell you. Each piece of fluorescent cloth is hooked up to one of these machines. The machine is called a Rambo light device. The light is sent through the cable and into the cloth, which is made of optic fibers. Just fiddle around with these settings a bit, and it will turn into all sorts of colors. When it grows red, it's like a raging inferno. <laughs> now that is a serious puffy face. <laughs> Oh my god, she's gonna blow! <laughs> and when it goes blue, you can always feel the glittering cool ice. It's powered by a long-lasting battery that's resistant to changes in temperature. Um, I'm not very familiar with these kinds of devices. Uh, Mr. Edwards, she's saying it's a machine that transmits light to the special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they come up with these days. So, one rainbow light device. One fluorescent cloth they're missing. And I was so close to finding that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You see, that's right, whatever they could be. Wherever could they be? It's fluorescent cloth. Could it, be, could it be related to the case? Of course it is. Otherwise, I wouldn't have jammed it in my pocket. I wrote, wrote rest of the spectacle. Aries was just looking nook and bloody rock. <laughs> I see you. What in the fuck? Well, we know what, we, well, we know what the uh, murder weapon was now. Castle door is door. No, I'm looking at the fucking rock. I think this is the cloth that was in the in the castle. Interest ways are always beautiful. That's what a detective thinks. Yes, after Detective Bad Shoes have trampled all over it. But it's no time for, for snide remarks. Oh, for God's sake, look where I'm clicking. That must have been just outside the hitbox. Looks like both the lamps and the pillars are broken. Both of their light bulbs are broken. Uh, maybe they were dropped on the floor? There's some sort of red stain on this light lamp surface. The stain. Could it be? It is. It's red frosting. That tastes like blood. That smell. There's no mistaking it. It's a blood stain. All right. This is an easy one. Eh? Th th that's a blood stain. Why is there a blood stain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with with the lamp bulb being broken. I should also take a look at the other lamp here. This is where Delicia originally intended to put the lamps. I don't get why she put put them in the gas. Since they're broken in the light and then don't light up, maybe she decided to put them out of the way. If she wanted them out of the way, then there are there are many other places to store them. It's like that old saying, hide the salt in the sugar bag. I think the saying goes, hide a tree in the forest. If Delicia intended to use these lamps as decoration during the contest, it creates a contradiction with the piece. With that piece of evidence, we deduce the contradiction at, at the scene. Yes. Let's deduce that shit. The rules, connoisseurs will be judged 
Afterwards, all parts will mean Jeff's room. Any decorations not made for the desserts are prohibited. Entering another contestant's room before the judging is done is prohibited. Eureka! Eureka! There we are. Yep. Take it bad. Please read the contest leaflet. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. Huh? Those ru these rock salt lamps and fluorescent cloth go against the rules. So maybe that's why they were hidden in the castle. I wonder, I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further into Delicia's actions. Nope, she's just a dirty cheater. Dirty, dirty cheater! Okay, beaten to death, bloody rock salt lamp. Go for it! Connect clue! Actually, that one at least sort of made sense. There is evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. What's more, there's a blood stain on one of the bro broken rock salt lamps. Would this lamp have been the murder weapon? You're right. It, it could have been used as a weapon. Lambie, is the blood analysis on that on the this rock salt lamp finished? Yes, sir. I finished. I finished it just a few moments ago. The blood stain on the lamp belonged to the victim. You heard what he said. All right, get it. Get in my pocket, bit bloody rock salt. The murder weapon was hidden in Delicia's room. We need to consider her as one of the suspects as well. Oh, here we go. Fake desserts and Delicia broke the rules. Two things are breaking the rules. Hmm. These are decorations that were against against the rules and making fake desserts. A lot of Delicia's actions seem suspicious. Yeah. Doesn't seem like like she's aiming to be the, the world's greatest pastry chef. Also, the temperature of this room is way too high. Is there a reason for that? I wonder. I think we should ask Delicia directly. I don't understand it. Why? Yeah, why, why would she set the temperature of her own room high? I figure maybe somebody else started sabotaging her because that would make the cream start to melt. But tell me what you did, Jet Puff Marshmallow Woman! Oh, God! Just <laughs> picks her up, starts shaking her. Lacey, why is the room temperature set to 68 degrees Fahrenheit? The cold doesn't agree with me. Less is bad for the body. This figure just doesn't maintain itself, you know. <laughs> I say as I continue to flick my finger. Naturally, as a lady, I want to look young forever. <laughs> you kind of remind me of that sort of stout woman from that, uh, uh, the third Phoenix Wright game. The little shrine lady, right? That worked along, uh, the Dahlia lookalike. Oh, Iris. Yeah, that's what I I wonder, how, how, how old is Miss Deli Delicious really is? Raymond, a true gentleman never asks a woman her age. I don't give a fuck. How old are you, bitch? <laughs> this room is mainly filled with cream. 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the recommended temperature for preserving fresh cream. What? Really? Now it's all gone to waste? It's like Miss Del Del Delicious didn't know. Seems lacking in the basic knowledge of preserve mech. Oh! Oh, huh. I thought she was supposed supposed to be a first-class pastry chef. I see. She just doesn't know anything about it. Okay. Fake desserts and the rule violations, and now her lack of basic knowledge. Looks like she keeps many secrets. All right. Search study knowledge lacking. Go for it. Connect. I don't have any more board games. Delicia's knowledge in the art of dessert faking is lacking, lacking in fundamental areas. She's claimed that she went into Mr. Master, Master's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting as someone aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah, they don't sound like the wor words of a pro. It's like she doesn't even realize it, realize it, or, or maybe she isn't a real pastry chef. Perhaps she had some in other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts. So then, are you saying Miss Delicious is the criminal? We can't say that for sure yet, but I know she's hiding something from us. Investigation complete. Heal Daddy Edgeworth. Give me all your cream puffs, small pastry woman. That's enough investigating. Hmm. We found much more than I expected. And yet, something from before still bothers me. Prosecutor Von Karma must have found the murder weapon in this room. So then why did he let Delicia be? Firstly, I must ask Steve Von Karma's true motives. Could it be that Von Karma, did Von Karma sabotage? He actually tried to hide the murder weapon and to keep the focus on uh, our client. 
Detective Bad, I would like to ask Prosecutor Montcarma something. I've also got business visible. And Alicia there, too. Hey, what's the idea, Batty? Don't leave me like that. The Seaton's Detective Bad also has his doubts about Delicia and Karma. Delicia, would you come with us for a moment? You know, I, I feel like Delicia, I don't know, how what, How did she think she was going to win through this? I mean, they were going to eventually gonna try to eat what she made, right? And <laughs> they realized, oh, hey, there's a big plastic molding under here. Yes, he it's fine. What, what for? We have to find Von Karma. There's some things we need to talk about. Unless you took some of the food from the other room and, well, but they would know that. I mean, these guys are freaking pros. December 24th, 8.05 p.m., contestant venue, found patio. What the devil? Who, what the fuck do you want? Prosecutor Von Karma, we need to talk about the case. Get your old ass over here. Are you calling me to tase you? Because <laughs> I love tasing people. Tisk, tisk, tisk. From the look on your face, I assume you found the murder weapon. Yes. We discovered the murder weapon in the Delicia's room. Well, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, it'd be, he hid it in there. It wasn't like it was hard to find. It was seen Mr. Master isn't the only one, only suspect in this case. Bah, that's not true. Where, where the murder weapon was found, it's not cheese the fact the Master is the culprit. As long as I am here. Why is Von Karma so sure of himself? Well then, aren't you going to explain why the murder weapon was in Delisi's room? Huh, naturally. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. All right, bring it on, Donkey Kong. About the murder weapon. In order to pin the crime on Delisia, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delisia's room. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been, been the one suspected. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there would be no benefit pointing to a specific culprit at the scene crime scene. Ah, oh. Mr. Master took the rock salt lamp. <laughs> Precisely. I carried out the investigation myself. There can be no room for doubt. No room for doubt! <laughs> Do you have more evidence that he moved it? Huh. That will not be necessary. What? What? Dis, dis, dis. If you have an objection, say it. Hmm. Snap it to me if you dare. Do you think a mere defense attorney can break my logic? Well, we're about to fucking find out. Hold it. Hold it. So the murder weapon was the rock salt lamp hidden inside the candy castle. Huh. I discovered the murder weapon when I entered the castle. Be thankful, defense attorney, that you too came by this information. Why was it necessary for you to enter the castle? Uh, may maybe he's interested in candy castles? <laughs> Objection! No! Why, you do think I went in there because I wanted to? The detectives at the scene were useless, so I had to investigate, investigate myself. <laughs> I wasn't in charge of the initial investigation. Investigation. Very bad during the investigation halfway through. Bah! A certain work ethic is required if you are to gain my trust. This is a flagrant waste of time. I'll continue. But what about the cloth? Objection! Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, just my tie real quick. It's true that the murder weapon and bloodstains had disappeared from the vicinity. However, there was still one piece of incriminating evidence left behind. Have a look at this photograph, which was taken when the body was first discovered. Yeah. This cloth was used to wrap the body. Does it remind you of the fluorescent cloth from Delicia's room? My fluorescent cloth was in the crime scene. Ha! Fluorescent cloth. You. Just what part of this cl cloth is fluorescent? Uh, I guess Vicarra doesn't know about this cloth secret. It looks like a normal cloth at first glance, but if you use the rainbow light device, you can make it glow. Ah! <laughs> ah! Prosecutor on Karma seems a little surprised. I don't think it was the cloth's ability to glow that surprised him. One sheet of this fluorescent cloth is currently un unaccounted for. Now I'd like to you to look at the color of the cloth in this photo. Don't you think it looks like the color of the fluorescent cloth before it's been lit up? Huh. But the rock salt lamp and the fluorescent cloth originally belonged to Delicia. Wouldn't it be natural to assume this cloth was used to wrap the body? Prosecutor Von Karma. I believe that 
the, the present conditions give us much reason to suspect Alicia. <laughs> oh, 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 there's this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, I don't know if I'm misunderstanding, but it was, I was expecting there'd be like a spoon in there. Was that actually a real cooking utensil, or was it, or is that also there to point out how little she knows about cooking? Oh, no, Greg, do you really suspect me? I don't even know if you're the culprit. But it is true that you're hiding something. Am I right? Uh, that's... Objection. So, you're saying that the murder weapon and the cloth were originally Delicia's room? Yes. Dis, dis, dis. What's so funny? Just as I expected from you. Nah! The murder weapon and the cloth are not from her room. How unfortunate for you. What, what does he mean? Before the contest began, that master noticed her violation of the rules. He confiscated the cloth and the rock salt lamp and kept them in his room as for safekeeping. What? what? Uh, oh, what? The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after con the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the rooms was J Jeff Master. And the murder weapon, the rock salt lamp, was being kept in Master's room. This should be the decisive evidence in proving Master's guilt. Defense attorney. You've lost me before you even had a chance to stand in court. Ah, what's this? Uh, well, what, what, was all our investigation for nothing? He hid that shit from us at the last, until the last fucking moment. Uh, Miss Delicious, why didn't you tell us about your confiscated items? Oh, uh, well, Manny said I had I'd look suspicious if I did. <laughs> Prosecutor Moncarma. That is true, you all suspect me, don't you, puffy face? Ah, I can't handle the amount of puffy face there! Dis, dis, dis! How clumsy of you, defense attorney! A karma! So that's why you let us investigate Alicia's room. And in your clumsiness, there's one more thing I need to inform you of. Two sets of fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Two? Yes, they belong to Jeff Master and Delicia Scopes. No other fingerprints were found. After Master killed Dover with the confiscated rock salt lamp, he foolishly concealed the murder weapon bearing his own fingerprints in his, in his owner's room. Dis, dis, I don't even need to prove my case in court. I have more than enough perfect evidence to prove Master's guilt. Objection. Hold it. I still have some doubts about the fluorescent cloth found in Mr. Master's room. Bah, irrelevant. After disposing of the body, he intended to return it to Delicia's room. Ah. I don't have enough information to refute Von Karma's reasoning. Dis, dis, dis. Nothing left to say. Blah! If your job is done, leave this place. Uh, th that's... I can't give up yet. Huh. We've wasted enough time as it is. Bad, take them away. Hold it, motherfucker. There's, there's still some doubts left in our investigation. Dr. Bad. You wanna let him talk to me that way, motherfucker? What's the meaning of this? It's not my nature to leave any doubts behind. There's still one piece of evidence that, that has yet to be identified. That's right. There are still traces so well left behind. Bah! Talk about your doubts as much as you want later. The, the, the envelope thing, right? But this, my dear attorney, is none of your business. No, I also have some doubts about one piece of evidence. It's likely that I have the same doubts Detective Bad has. What? This is the piece of evidence left in Mr. Master's room that has yet to be identified. <laughs> this thing! What? Oh, what the hell? That wasn't it? Seriously? That's, that's not it? Okay. Uh, that's not what I... Uh, uh fingerprints? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Still, I can't believe it wasn't this, though. I mean, we still don't know what this... What's up with this thing, you know? So, I'm gonna call bullshit on that one. Somebody left glove finger marks on one of the Mr. Master's desserts. If these were the killer's finger marks, then it's possible that the killer also didn't leave any fingerprints on the murder weapon. <laughs> How did you know of the state of the crime scene? I gave them permission to investigate. Objection. Objection. Bat, what possessed you to let a defense attorney into the crime scene? I don't recall you telling me not to let them in. Bah, such impudence. You best remember bad. Your salary review depends on me. 
<laughs> oh shit, he, that made he, that made bad. Shut up. He's like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Don't you dare mess with my fucking money. Uh, this is good for bad. I'm so glad I have a kind I have a kind boss at Mr. Ed. <laughs> Your salary review depends on how you perform here, so better not fuck up. Huh? I'm surprised that what a mere attorney like you managed to uncover in such a short time. However, it's possible for those finger marks will master his own duty. Because he always wore gloves while cooking. Cool. Do you have evidence that, that those finger marks were left by Master? And moreover, there are still a few points of suspicion, suspicion surrounding Delicia. Oh, you still haven't given up on that. Oh, Greg, you still suspect me. I am already apologize for stealing a few bites. I don't want to suspect you. However, I, can e I can't easily trust those who tell lies. You must still be hiding something. Uh, Greg is a bully! <laughs> don't you know the temperature of fresh cream must be kept at? You call yourself a dessert chef, but you lack even the most basic knowledge. Uh, I'm sorry for my lack of knowledge. In your case, it's not even about the lack of knowledge. In truth, you don't even know how to make desserts, do you? Objection! Defense attorney! Stop trying to force your own reasoning. In a court of law, the evidence tells all. That sort of rhymed. If you say that the witness is lying, show it with evidence. We're not in court yet, but very well. This evidence shows that Alicia can't make desserts. Uh, yes, take that. The only thing Delicia made were those that broke the rules. The lamp and cloth that broke the rules were being held in Master's room. There's no way the witness could have returned them into a room. Those were not the only fake desserts she made. What? <laughs> what? Her desserts may look like something out of a fairy tale at first glance, but in reality, they are nothing but mannequins decorated with cream. Apart from the cream, they're all fake. This is not so something one aiming to become the world's greatest pastry chef would do. Is this true, Bat? Yes, my shoes can attest to that. God dang it. Italian fucking leather. Will that be enough to convince Prosecutor Von Karma? Once he sees that when, what Delicia has done, he'll have no choice but to be convinced. Oh, you doubt it. You fucking doubt me, man. Delicia, the fact that your actions could lead to you being a suspect is no laughing matter. I did a murder. Is it time you told us the whole truth? Who are you? And why were you indulging yourself in another contestant's work? Yes, I understand. Do this. I'm not really a dessert chef like I led you to believe. I'm actually a pharmacist. Uh, uh what? A, a pharmacist? That's a completely different occupation. It's no wonder he... He couldn't hide his surprise. <laughs> Why is a pharmacist like you participating in this contest? I just love eating desserts. I joined because I thought I'd be able to eat some of Jeffy's desserts. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? <laughs> I never thought I'd end up making it to the finals. <laughs> how the fuck did you make it this far? Seriously, how did they figure this shit out? Even Brusker my karma is at a loss for words. You have got to be shitting my dick right now. So that's the real reason why you entered the contest. Yes, he has expected Jeffy's desserts were oh so good. <laughs> so, the glove finger marks on the picture frame. We are doing... In no way, I never wear gloves. Please, his fingerprints were found on Mr. Master's chocolates. So it's true that she wasn't wearing gloves. Yes, he exactly. You do believe me, Greggy. Objection. It's your face stuffed with nothing but desserts. <laughs> I'm sorry, Manny. I think it's her belly that stu is stuffed. Were Master Desserts all that you ate? Actually, no. After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's Desserts. <laughs> what? You mean you entered the victim's room? Yes, exactly. The room was empty after all. Perhaps the victim was already dead by then. But my first bite tasted way too salty and I couldn't eat it. Mm. So I ate a delicious star-shaped des star dessert that was nearby. It's delicious. You really are a glutton. <laughs> it's, rare, it's rare you see a woman with this kind of appetite. That's all I did. Ricky, Maddie, everyone. I'm sorry I caused you trouble. Now you've told us the truth. Everything's fine. There's no need to apologize. 
This does not mean that your testimony is trustworthy. I'll be investigating the victim's room after this. Only then will I decide if your testimony is true. Prosecutor Makarma, I'd like to go as well. I also need to ascertain whether my reasoning up till now has been correct. Huh. I'll let you follow, but I have no intention of letting you investigate. That's enough for me. December 24th, 9 o'clock p.m. Contestant venue, Dover's room. This, what is the meaning of this? Oh, everything's gone. Desserts adorning the victim's room had disappeared without a trace. Was this the true killer's doing? A body that was hidden inside a dessert and a murder weapon that was moved. Further, further investigation would be required to arri arrive at the truth of this case. Oh, I was like, is it gonna keep going? No. Nope, to be, to be continued. Oh God, look at us. We're back to old East Attorney with one hour blocks. Just enough, <laughs> just enough not to burn the fuck out of Nico. <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad. I, I'm actually wondering if this whole case is going to be in the past or because I mean, it has to be a reason, right? That Edgeworth and uh, and Ray are meeting it back up at this place. Man, well, actually, I, I guess it means that didn't it means that he they didn't find the, the killer, right? Because Von Karma didn't lose as or at least didn't lose until he fought, he went against Phoenix. So it must be that he lost, or, may, or maybe, I don't know, Edgeworth's dad died before he got to see the completion of the case. So maybe now we're coming back to complete it ourselves, or just to, f just to find the truth. I mean, I guess it would be the statute of limitations. Could we really uh, arrest her? And I, like I said, I, I still think it's going to be in the, the assistant, but... Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe now to become a picky penguin. For the SLP, where the days are always sunny... And the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy. You want the monkey, Bernie? I do. I want that monkey. You give me that monkey. No, oh, it's my monkey. No, it's my monkey. You give me that. Oh. No, must kill squeaking sound. <laughs> must. Ah. Uh, defeat monkey. Ah. Ah, oh, crap. Ah. <laughs> I swear, I think she likes being pulled around because she's she always does that. She'll like just kind of go limp. <laughs> like, now drag me. Yeah.